I'm Rick Say of the Worcester Business Journal with tonight's Central Mass Business Report. The Building 19 store in Shrewsbury will be closing soon, bringing an end to nearly 80 years of retail activity at the site that was once Spags. Most of the 19 properties spread across 14 acres that used to be Spags are on the market. Shrewsbury officials say the future of that site is very important to the town, both for its tax base as well as the economic health of the heavily retail stretch of Route 9 next to the border with Worcester. Shrewsbury's Economic Development Coordinator, Kristen Lass, said the town wants to see people stay on Route 9 to shop. But the head of Building 19, Bill Elovitz, said there has been, not been any interest from retailers in buying all or part of the property. He said he's happy to help the town find a good fit with a new owner for the property. If you're a military veteran who wants to start a business and need money, help is on the way. The Worcester Business Development Corporation is developing a program that will lend money to veterans who want to start their own businesses. The WBDC is working with the federal government and a trade association for developers to make that money available as part of a national program. That program is run by the National Association of Development Companies. That group wants to increase small business loans to veterans by 5% over the next five years. Finally, the Colleges of Worcester Consortium has a new executive director. The new leader is Janine Wendt. She is currently an administrator at Johnson & Wales College in Providence. The consortium, which is an alliance of colleges and universities in Central Mass, recently reorganized to strengthen its government-funded programs that serve middle and high school students, as well as low-income adults. For more on these stories and others, please visit our website, wbjournal.com.